chances are you're going to be alone in the next steam boiler room you visit. That's part of the job when you do boiler maintenance. Normally, I enjoy the alone time. It helps me think, and I get to take in the sights and sounds of the boiler room. People believe boilers are dangerous, and a Google search of boiler accidents helps support that belief. Most of the accidents could have been avoided by simply doing boiler maintenance on. Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today, we're discussing dangers inside a steam boiler room. Is there an emergency door switch? The switches are at every entrance and will shut down the boiler when pushed. When I first walk inside a boiler room, especially one I've never serviced, I shut off the door switch to be sure the room is safe. Do you see any sagging steam pipes? Sagging steam pipes can trap condensate and create a very dangerous condition. Steam zooms through the piping at speeds of around 50 miles per hour. It can pick up the condensate and throw it against the closest valve or fitting. This could destroy the fitting or valve and spray steam everywhere. The scarier outcome is condensate-induced water hammer. This is when the steam encounters the cool condensate and it causes the steam to rapidly condense, forming a vacuum. It can generate pressures of 1,500 pounds or more, 10 times the rated pressure of most pipe fittings. Do you see missing pipe insulation? Missing pipe insulation on a steam pipe could cause the steam to condense faster than designed. It could overload the steam traps and cause the system to stall. This stops the steam from going where it needs to go. It also causes the condensate to pull in the horizontal pipes, creating steam hammer and possible condensate-induced water hammer. What's the steam pressure setting? Steam pop safety valves are not designed to have the boiler operate close to the steam pressure rating of the valve. It's recommended there be a four to five pound cushion between the operating pressure and the pop safety set point. For low pressure steam boiler, the pop safety valve is set for 15 PSI, so they want you to run the boiler no higher than 11 PSI. Look at the pop safety valve discharge piping. Is it vented outside or close to the floor? When a steam pop safety valve opens, it opens fully and could quickly fill a boiler room with steam. In addition, if you're in the vicinity of the discharge piping outlet, you could be severely burned. Steam causes third degree burns in less than a second when exposed to skin. Are there water stains under the pop safety valve discharge pipe? This could indicate the pop safety valve has been opening. Do you see any pipe leaks? If I see leaks coming from the steam or condensate pipes, my spidey sense starts warning me. You don't know if the pipe is paper thin or could fail if you're inside the boiler room. I warn the customer about the dangers of steam and urge them to repair the leaks. Is the path clear between the exit and the boiler? If something happens and the boiler room fills with steam, you want to get out of there fast. Steam displaces oxygen, so your breathing becomes labored. It also reduces the visibility in the room to zero. I try to memorize the escape route in case something happens. Are there trip hazards in the path? You could fall and get stuck inside the boiler room. Is the flue intact? I look at the boiler flue pipe and make sure it's connected and pitched properly. I look for rust holes in the flue and rust under the draft diverter. Rust under the draft diverter could be caused by the boiler not venting properly or insufficient combustion air. Are there combustion air openings? I make sure there is enough combustion air and visually inspect the openings to see if they are free and clear or plugged. Once I do this walkthrough, I allow the boilers to start. I hope this helps you on your next steam boiler project. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more expert advice and tips. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to contact me, 
My contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is FireIceHeat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. My boiler books are available on Amazon, and my technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.